Hey you all, Carpet Beggar here, coming to you live from the great state of Oklahoma. And it is a very rainy day here in Oklahoma City. So we're gonna do something indoors today. I am, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. I'm at the National Cowboy Museum here in Oklahoma City. A, muse a museum dedicated to the cowboy, one of our most iconic figures here in America. And I know this um, cowboy museum recently received a little bit of uh, attention during the uh, pandemic because while they were locked down, their director of security, Tim, um, who's, you know, a, a, a cowboy in his own right, um, took over the social media and did not ever no, did not ever work with social media, did not have social media of his own, so he, he was a learning process, and he and he asked for suggestions from the, you hear that lightning? Asked for suggestions from the de general public, like, 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 said out things like, please uh, give me tips on how to use Twitter. So very, it was a very charming experience, and then I think some people got, uh, you know, a little bit of joy uh, talking to Tim during, during the, uh, pandemic when uh, you know we definitely needed things to brighten our life but anyways i'm excited to check out the national cowboy museum not looking forward to running through the rain but still follow me Massive statue right here. It's reference to the Trail of Tears and the removal of the Native Americans. We have a statue of Ronald Reagan. He's got a cowboy hat, I guess. Maybe he was a cowboy in certain ways. This is Tim right here, the head of security that was running social media during the lockdown. And I guess he's become somewhat of a unofficial mascot for the museum. You can see, I guess he was famous for using hashtag hashtag. He would spell out the word hashtag. There's a screen used costume for Annie Oakley. Here's Woody and Jesse from Toy Story uh, talking about the Old West values on display in Toy Story. Here's a dress worn by Ava Tool in the show All on Wheels. Kind of talking about the history of the Western from Blazing Saddles all the way to Django. And here we have a hat worn by Django in Django Unchained. They do have an outdoor exhibit that is closed because of the rain today. Here's a taxidermied Texas Longhorn, which cowboys would be known to take care of. You can see the brand there on his side. Cowboy right there, sitting outside of Prosperity Junction. We have like an indoor western village. You can see the horses here in the barn. The saddle and harness shop. I guess this is the blacksmith area, see the anvil, and the, uh, the fire. This is the Thompson house, looks like this is maybe a hotel, a restaurant, hotel, and peek in the window there. You all know, see the cowboys are getting ready to sit down and have some tea. The dispatch looks like it's maybe a 
cowboy newspaper. There's the Silver Dollar Saloon. You can actually step inside here. They have free lunch. My daddy told me there was no such thing as a free lunch. But, oh, we got some old western music in here. See the liquor there behind the bar. It's a friendly old buffalo wearing a hat. It's the photo studio. You can see a cat up there in the window. Step inside and see the old photo area. This is where someone would sit to have their photo done with this old timey camera. Here's the bank on the corner. It's constantly in fear of being robbed by outlaws. Hello, to It's a U.S. Marshal office right here. Because they're always out looking for outlaws. Here's the jail they have out back behind the U.S. Marshal's office. Here's some tools of the trade, some guns, some handcuffs, some badges. Here's the mercantile. You can stock up on various cowboy goods. That looks like they got their post office in there. There's a checkerboard for people who want to play some checkers. All sorts of wonderful canned goods. Of course, every good cowboy goes to church on Sunday. Let's step inside. Oh, there we go. See the pews. This old church organ. And the preach preacher would say, oh, sounds like church is starting. Here's the cowboy dentist office. You gotta wonder at what level was uh, cowboy dentistry. This old schoolhouse right here. You can hear the voices. Let's see. Teddy Roosevelt was president in an event. Tools of the trade, we see different lassos or lariats, and then there are some spurs, some horse bits, as you can see on these horse heads right here. It's a neat little tableau here. See the cowboy right there on top of his horse. Talking about all the different cowboys and all the different parts of the country. This is actually a Hawaiian cowboy right there. Interesting, I never thought about Hawaiian cowboys. Here's a Hazendado suit. Apparently these were popular in Mexico back in cowboy times. It almost looks like an Elvis jumpsuit. You can see the flared feet there. Right here's an example of a California cowboy. You can see he's very stylish with his top hat. Almost looks like, uh, his outfit almost looks like one of the three amigos. There's an early Texas rancher. There's a section listed cowboy grub. I guess this is how cowboys would prepare food for themselves. You can actually see the giant dinner bell right there in the pot that they would cook in. Of course, a lot of canned foods. I think cowboys ate a lot of beans. Here's the cowboy cook at the back of the chuck wagon. Let's see what he's making for dinner. Oh, that looks mighty delicious. And we got this guy here. Looks like he is repairing a fence. Here's some different cattle brands where the cowboys would burn their mark into various cattle so that people knew that they were theirs. Shows what they look like right here. 
all these different marks. I think this one's my favorite, the duck mark. DK, Lord Ranch, Wyoming, Oklahoma. Burn a duck into your cow. All those cabinets over there and all these cabinets over here contain different types of barb wire, two strand wire, four point barb. Oh, that is a good collection of barbed wire. Yeah, this is an amazing. I've seen a lot of barbed wire exhibits in, in Western museums, but this is by far the most elaborate and enormous. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get any of that stuck in your stuck in your flesh. Let's see, it's still it's a little bit more. Oh yeah, you really can appreciate the different styles of barbed wire. There's just different cowboy gear. A lot of chaps here. With the fuzzy, fuzzy chaps right there. Leather chaps. Some more iconic bits of cowboy wear. Of course, what would a cowboy be without a cowboy boot? And to top things off, the iconic cowboy hat. Here we get into some of the pop culture and Hollywood cowboys. Here is some of Roy Rogers stuff. It's Roy Rogers boots, his cowboy hat, his guitar, one of his outfits. I just wonder, where's this horse trigger? There's Milburn Stone's director chair. I'm guessing he directed some of these Western movies. Here's the Tom Selleck section. It says that these spurs were worn in Quigley Down Under. This gun was actually used by Jimmy Stewart. In a movie called The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. I wasn't aware that Jimmy Stewart was in any Westerns. These are Ernest Borgnine's boots. Here's a whole section on John Wayne. Different pieces of artwork featuring John Wayne as well as some movie props. Right there, that hat, an eye patch, belongs to Rooster Cogburn, the famed John Wayne character featured in the True Grit film. There's Gene Autry's shirt. Down here they have some children's items. Kids loved the Wild West at one point. See a little cowboy puppet. Here's Robert Redford's sequin cowboy suit from a film called The Electric Horseman. Here's a section dedicated to Native Americans. Various Native American pipes. There's some papooses used to carry Native American babies. Native American wedding outfit. It's actually a female wedding outfit. Here is the American Rodeo section. Up there you can see the rodeo judges looking down on us. There's a cowboy riding Bucking Bronco. Hang on there, buddy. See this bull just itching to get out of its pen and gore some cowboys. Apparently they give belt buckles as trophies in the rodeo. Look at that grand championship belt buckle. That's amazing. Here is an exhibit on the rodeo clown. See the different clowns there. I guess they always use that barrel like this one right here to hide in to uh, protect themselves from the bulls. These are a custom pair of rodeo clown jeans. Here's the hunting section. As you can see by the, all the uh, taxidermy up there on the top shelf. 
You can see these two men hunting buffalo and aiming off at those buffalo there in the distance. I don't want to forget to mention, there is a lot of guns in this museum. Just, just guns, 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 guns. Oh, look at those two vicious bears right there. You know, one thing this museum is not lacking. Guns and saddles and guns. Appreciate you guys joining me here at the National Cowboy Museum here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Very, very cool museum, a very thorough museum into the look of the cowboy, beginnings of the cowboy up to modern cowboy and kind of all the things that encompass the cowboy image and the cowboy lifestyle. If you like to see other places I've been, other museums, other amusement parks, roadside attractions, haunted houses, all that fun stuff, please check the interactive map in the description of this video. It'll show you where I've been and you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying an enamel pin in the Etsy shop. Consider donating to Patreon. A $3 or more donation will get you a postcard once a month. But until next time, this one's in the bag.